What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. So today when it comes to tvOS 18.1, I'll be happy to let you know that if we go into our software update page right here and check for a software update, you can see an update is available on tvOS 18.1 and it has a new build number which is 22J triple five two D and the previous one that I'm coming from is tvOS 18.1 with the build number 22J5543E. Five, five, so I'll quickly begin downloading this update and then installing it. But just to keep you in the loop, this is not the only update that Apple released today. If we go to the Apple developer page right here, you can see they released tvOS 18.1 beta 3. They also released watchOS 11.1 beta 3. They have VisionOS 2.2 beta 3. But unfortunately, as you can see, when it comes to iOS 18.1, there is no beta 6 that was released. And at the same time, iPadOS received no beta 6 and macOS 15.1 Sequoia received received no beta 6 so for now we just it seems to be an old release as it's just tvOS watchOS and visionOS but I'm sure pretty soon we'll get to see these updates like iOS 18.1 and so on now right here as you can see my TV is in the process of downloading the update it seems to be pretty normal the downloading time and process at which it's downloading at so let me quickly finish this and then we'll see what this update has to offer my device is now up to date so going into the settings right here and going to where it says system you can see when we go to software update and then check for an update right there we are up to date with the same build number which is 22j triple five seven d and this matches what the apple tv actually has on on the website so this one is the same as what you see right there and the reason I mentioned this is because with this watchOS 11.3 beta 3 they say that this would be the build number on beta 3 of watchOS 11.1 but that's not actually the case because if you were to look at my Apple watch right here which I updated a few hours ago and go to the about section you can see the build number on beta 3 of watchOS 11.1 ends with an F and on this side, on the Apple's website, they actually put like a B. This is not pretty much a common thing to see Apple do, but yeah, it does happen from time to time. So now let's go back into our Apple TV and see what this update has to offer. In terms of what's new with this new tvOS 18.1, I was looking into the OS to see if there is any mention of functions but you can see on the what's new page they also mentioned the portrait screensaver but there's actually an issue with some screensavers and one of them is the portrait screensavers where it might not reflect the availability accurately in the screensaver switcher which you are seeing right now so you can see mine from the time i updated to tvOS 18 and even after updating to tvOS 18.1 it seems to just say uh, processing your photo for this accurate screen saver check back later so that's in the portrait screen uh, switcher right there and the same bug is also affecting the portrait screen saver if you were to go into your settings and then go to your screen saver tab right here then the same issue is occurring for portraits as well and here you have the ability of course to sort your screen saver but it is experiencing some issues now also that's not the only one experiencing issues if you go to the screen saver tab and you go to the memories and slideshow this screen saver is also experiencing some known issues where it might not reflect availability accurately in the settings or in the switcher so if your switch your screen saver switcher says screen saver via available once photos have synced from your iCloud or you have an issue just like this where it's saying it's processing your photos whether it's in the screensaver switcher or if it's in the for example if it's in the settings app and you are seeing that in the memories and slideshow as well then there is an issue and Apple has acknowledged that they do know of this issue. Now, another thing that this update of tvOS 18.1 actually introduces, it's a bug that has to do with audio, the 5.1 audio output. It seems to be experiencing an issue and a number of people have reported this issue after updating to tvOS 18.1 
beta 3 so if you do experience that know that there is something and please report it in the feedback assistant app on your device now also something that i wanted to highlight are features that were announced in june this year which is you know it's almost end of the year so apple did mention of some features that were going to be coming with tvos 18 but they didn't specify that it was going to be like tvos 18.1 because there were a number of features that we haven't seen yet that were announced for the apple tv but they are not even here with tvos 18.1 the first one is the 21 by 9 projector support to allow you to be able to watch apple tv shows and movies just like directors intended them to be on 21 by 9 projectors that's yet to be coming it's not yet supported from what i've been able to research and at the same time on the apple tv the robot vacuum support in the home app hasn't yet been introduced it's something that was showing off at wwdc but at the time i'm recording this video it's not yet here now also the most requested feature well one of the most requested feature when it comes to the apple tv has to do with new screensavers and one that we haven't seen is a screensaver that's based on apple tv original shows and that was promised to be coming with tvos 18 but we haven't seen it yet but the most requested new feature has to do with a screensaver that is called snoopy and that isn't yet here as well in the screensaver tab it's not there and it's basically one of the things that i get most messages for when it comes to tvos 18 and tvos 18.1 i get so many messages people asking hey did you update can you check if snoopy is there and unfortunately with tvos 18.1 beta 3 this snoopy screensaver is not yet there something i don't like about apple is the fact that they they mention these features that are going to be available are like they seem they seem to make it as if the new features are going to be available at launch but then you end up having to wait a, like for points update like i tvos 18.1 and as you can see tvos 18.1 doesn't have much going on sometimes you have to wait tvos 18.2 or even worse tvos 18.3 to be able to see features like this so if they won't be available at launch with tvos 18 why not just hold off and announce them on with the update or put them in the release notes of the tvos update that they are going to actually be available with now that's just my quick cent two cents right there another thing i wanted to highlight is video and audio output there is actually no mention of hdmi pass through and the, from the different forums and research i've been able to find even though i was able to send it to um, apple support they haven't mentioned anything with regards to the hdmi pass through but on the mac application which i recently updated to the latest beta it's good that they've managed to keep this in the apple tv application for mac os because if we go to our mac os sequoia which i updated to mac os 15.1 in the apple tv application right here if we open it and then go to the settings and go to playback there you can see prefer hdmi pass through which support uh, which plays supported audio in dolby atmos and other dolby audio formats using hdmi pass through when connected to a supported device it's there on the apple tv app on mac and it's there on other media devices as well so apple music has it quick time also has this hdmi audio pass through the high bit rate dolby lossless audio on mac but on the apple tv this is not yet here so i hope to see that soon hopefully if it doesn't interfere with functions of the apple tv as it's the second most requested thing after the snoopy screensaver so that's just how this update came in for me tvos 18.1 beta 3 nothing much to talk about and just a few minor bug fixes and at the same time it reintroduces a bug with the audio output for some users so that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video